this video, we're going to walk through uh, using a Punnett square to calculate a phenotypic ratio for a cross where we have incomplete dominance. So again, it's always really important to be organized. As you can see, I've written myself a little key here on the side. So this is something you would have to figure out usually based on the story that you're given in a little genetic story problem. So with incomplete dominance, what's different is the heterozygous individuals have a different phenotype than the homozygous dominant. So remember with complete dominance, they have the same phenotype, but with incomplete dominance here, we're seeing um, in roses, the individuals who are homozygous dominant have red flowers, whereas the heterozygotes have pink flowers. And then the homozygous recessive have white flowers. So I set this problem up over here on the left, and we started with true breeding parents. Mendel always started with true breeding parents. So I have a homozygous dominant individual who would have had red flowers and a homozygous recessive individual who would have had white flowers their progeny would have all pink flowers. They would all have received one big R, the dominant allele from one parent and one little R from the other. They're all heterozygous and because this is incomplete dominance, they would all have pink flowers. So now if we want to determine the ratio of phenotypes in their offspring, um, that would be a monohybrid cross. So we would be crossing two of these heterozygotes. And remember, um, because of the law of segregation, the gametes for the F1 parents are going to be either containing a big R or a little r. So I'm going to put those two alleles on the side of R square. And then when we fill out the Punnett square, Remember that it's like we are looking at all the different possibilities for fertilization. So we could have a big R sperm fused with a big R egg. We could have a big R sperm um, fertilize a little R egg. And we just populate our square with the diploid genotypes of all of their possible offspring, just looking at this one trait, this flower colored trait. And so um, what we see here is not the three to one ratio of phenotypes that we expected to see, that we would see if it was a um, typical monohybrid cross with complete dominance. Instead, what we have is a one to two to one ratio of phenotypes where we have one individual with red flowers. We have two individuals with pink and we have one individual who has white flowers. So Mendel um, was looking at traits that had complete dominance and he typically saw the three to one ratio if you're doing a monohybrid cross for a trait with incomplete dominance, you should expect to see this one to two to one ratio in the F2 generation. Thanks for watching.